hello. I am coming to you guys with a brand new hot tool. Probably looking at it like, what in the world is that? I actually got this from my lovely mama. And it is made by Chi. And I can't remember what the name of it is, but I can link it down below whenever I find that. Um, but it's super cool. It's for all the ladies that have a hard time curling your own hair. But I tell you what. You just literally put your hair right in the center, what looks like a little flower, and then you just either hit this button or this button, which controls either going one way or going the opposite way, and it's really simple. So, when I got it, I just thought, oh, I need to make a video of this and show you guys. So, while that is heating up, um, I am just going to do just a little bit of makeup, not too much. Um... I did want to let you guys know that I did just already put my VFX Pro Camera Ready Primer on, per usual. I'm using the, the not strobe version today. And I'm going to start off with my eyebrows. Now today, because I'm not going anywhere, I'm not going to be doing an excessive amount of makeup. So I'm just doing a little bit, just enough to just make me feel better. I've been dealing with a lot. I had to do a reno and some other things, and it's just, you know, makes me feel better. So anyways, all I'm going to be doing is brushing my brows. If you guys don't brush your brows before you do your makeup or your eye or your brow liner whatever gel I recommend it because it definitely helps with laying the hairs the way you want see doesn't that look already better now something I've not shared with you guys which I will flip the screen around and show you um, I have just gotten the pharmacy brow design eyebrow mascara Sorry, it's really hard to see. <laughs> All right, that's not going to work. Anyway, so it just comes in a little tube. And I get the clear because I've noticed that the color is a little too dark or too light. Or it's just not quite because my eyebrows are more like a gray, black, brown. It's kind of unusual looking. But anyway, so I use the clear. And it just has a little brush at the very end. Like I said, it's very small, but a little goes a long way. And man, oh man, does this stuff do wonders. So all I do is I just brush my brows. And I usually drag my brows going up and then wait for a second and go the other side. So that way they kind of dry. Now this is not like, when I say a gel, it's not like, hair gel you know we used back in the 90s where it's like slick back and all that it's not I promise it is very subtle but it's just enough to give you that little bit of arch support all that kind of stuff so I'm just going to go back and just kind of direct the hairs where I want them to go while they are somewhat dry now today, I am going to be using a little bit of the BB cream. As you guys know, I love the BB cream. Super, super nice. Especially on the days where you need a little bit of coverage, but not an excessive amount of coverage for the full-on foundation. So, like I said, I'm just going to kind of just put this all over. Now, today I'm just doing one color because I, uh, like I said, I'm not going anywhere. I just want to kind of make myself feel a little bit better today. Now, this shade that I'm using today, I usually use two shades, but today I'm just using the one. But today I'm using light to medium. Now what I typically use is light all over and then I'll use kind of like the medium or the light to medium as a um, 
like a bronzer kind of an idea. Now something I cannot wait to show you guys whenever it comes in is we just launched translucent powder. I absolutely cannot wait. I am so excited. It's got all sorts of vitamins and minerals and nutrition in it. And the cool thing is, is I've noticed for me that a lot of, um, a lot of different, uh, translucent powders or powders in general, even if it's like a compact, um, dry me out and it kind of just, it just doesn't work well for me. But this one has been told that it has, uh, a matte finish, but not a dry finish. So. I'm excited about that. And whenever I come and get that in the mail, then I'm going to do a video on that for you guys. So anyway, like I said, today I'm just going to be doing just very minimal. But I am going to do a little bit of contour. Now I've got a contour stick. Um, I will post this, the color and everything down below as well. Um... Now, don't be alarmed whenever you have a contour stick. See how dark it is? But blending is key. So all you do is now you start up at your ear and go down because you're gonna have more product at the top. So you're just gonna go down, follow your jaw, just like that. And then wherever the sun hits. So here and here. And then for the nose, let me take off my glasses here. <clears throat> for the nose, you're just going to go on the side here and on the side here and then at the tip. And now, oop, us ladies that have want bigger lips and all this kind of stuff, I usually just go a little bit here. Just a little. You don't need an excessive amount. But once you start blending everything in, it'll definitely look a lot better. And then just do a little bit under here because you want to cover all the, the stuff. <laughs> okay, so then you're just going to blend everything in. Mm -hmm. Blend, blend, blend. See, it's not dark, but at the very end, it makes you look like you have more of a chiseled face absolutely love this stuff. I was so alarmed by testing it out and being like, oh, it's going to be too dark. I don't know how to use it. But I've got some friends uh, that I have created in this product. Um, and they're just like, oh, just do it. Just do it. I promise you'll love it. And I'm like, mm, I don't know. But anyway, I did. And I love it. So I'm just looking at my main mirror here because it's hard for me to see because the light on here is different than the light I'm looking at. So like I said, just blend. Get underneath the lip. And now the nose. Now with doing the contouring on the nose, it makes your nose not only have dimension, but it kind of makes it a little bit of a thinner look. <clears throat> Love it. little bit of blush. And I'm not, like I said, putting too much on. Just enough to make me feel a little bit better. Now another product I absolutely love and I've been using like crazy is this little guy right here. Now, I know it's backwards, but this, if you have a lot of dry lips, um, that you're constantly like chapstick, chapstick, chapstick. Well, this is better than chapstick. It looks like a little lipstick container, but it's clear. <laughs> it's really, really nice. It's super soft and super silky. 
I recommend it. And like I said, see? Clear. Alright. So let's get to this hair thing. <clears throat> oh, I also wanted to show you guys. I have got a new, new to me, not new to the company, new to me. I know it's backwards. I'm sorry. But the new palette. I'm super excited. Have not tried it yet. But I will very soon. Maybe I could do the translucent powder in that palette together. Who knows? All right. Let's get this wild hair. Now, I did just uh, wash my hair yesterday afternoon. So, this is technically fresh hair. All right. Now, today, I'm going to be using the Chi 44 Iron Guard Heat Protectant. I guess I know it's backwards, but... So you just need a little bit. Always remember, use heat protectant. I promise, if you don't use heat protectant, your hair is not gonna be loving you. And then as always, my pride possession here, it's the Dr. C. Tuna Dry Shampoo. Absolutely love this. Love, love, love. Now, again, People are probably like, Lauren, you just tried, or you just uh, washed your hair yesterday. Why are you doing that? Like, usually people that have dry shampoo, they don't need it unless their hair is oily. But, one thing I have noticed is, if, grab a clip here, if you use dry shampoo, even if it is on freshly washed hair, freshly dried hair, doesn't matter. It actually helps with volume. So that's pretty cool. So, okay, now that I got my hair section, my first section here, just gonna separate my hair. Now, I always have to make sure which way is it gonna go? Okay, so first piece of hair, I'm gonna roll the hair from my face back. So all you do, make sure you can see, all you do is you just put it in, let it go. And then you just keep it there for a few seconds and it will beep, it'll tell you. Let's see here. Like I said, just a few seconds. And then it's done. Look at that! Oh, it's so pretty. Okay. Now, because for me, I like the beach wave. So, I'm going to go the other way. So, I'm going to put my hair in. Hold the button down. Wait for the few seconds. And also, you don't feel any heat. Like, I'm touching this thing against my neck. I don't feel anything. All right. And then, opposite way. See, I want to show you. See, I'm touching. It's not hot. This is not hot. Absolutely nothing. I love it. It's so foolproof. At first I was a little timid, but I mean, now looking at it, it's like, oh my gosh, so beautiful. Okay. So while that side's cooling, let's go ahead and do the same thing with the other side. Okay. So put it in, let it go. And then wait for the few seconds. 10 15 seconds or so. But all it does is it puts the hair inside this little roller. I'll show you. See? It and it just turns it and holds it in there. I love it. Love 
it. It is so easy, so nice. I'm so happy I got this. Okay, now we're gonna flip it the other way. Ooh. There we go. <clears throat> like I said, when I got this, I was so timid on using it. I was like, it's gonna like roll my hair in, it's gonna fry it. It's not. It is so easy, so nice. And look at those bouncy curls. You guys need to try this. You guys are missing out. My little boy here. <laughs> if you hear anybody, my little man watching me. Pooh. Oh, okay. Hmm. Hey, Pooh. All right. Let's go to the second layer. Hey, Pooh. Yeah. Just a second. You heard mom life. Sorry about that, guys. Hey, Gog. I see you. All right. <clears throat> Second layer again. Making sure the direction. Just put it straight up to the head. Turn the button on which direction I want it to go in. Wait till the beeps. Just like I said, easy. And honestly, your arm does not get hurt. Like a lot of the other cooling tools, or cooling tools, curling tools, I've used. My arm's like, oh, I'm so tired. It is, this is ridiculous. But, easy. Wait just a few seconds. Last section on this. So easy. So easy. I know I keep saying it, but it truly is easy. And I mean, the fact that I just, I do this and I don't have to worry about anything. Just hit a button. That's it. I mean, look how curly and bouncy that is. So pretty. Hey. Um, I got this baggy eight out. Okay. If I have any mamas out there watching this, you know that you can't do anything without your little ones running around or asking questions. All right. Let's get to this side. So again, starting rolling backwards like from my face to the back of the head. Wait just for those few seconds. Okay, now we're going to go towards the face. When I get to this last strand here, I will show you exactly what it does. By the way, my little boy is just fine. He closed the door and now he's telling me he needs help. <laughs> All right, make sure I'm going the right direction. Okay, so I just place it in just like this. Hold the button down and it just gathers it all in and spins it around that barrel that's on the inside. Hi. I have a power sword. Okay. Isn't that gorgeous? I mean, literally full proof. Full proof. Love how easy this is. All right, now. So you guys know I have my hair parted. So let's do, <clears throat> let's do this side first. Gather all of my hair. There we go. I mean, shoot, that takes the most time is just to gather the hair. <laughs> okay, so I'll show you as best as I can. 
And there it goes. And you just wait till the count. And there it is. All right, get the other pieces of hair. <clears throat> I mean, literally. A teenager, middle schooler, any age. I mean, literally. So easy. It's just pushing the button, holding it up against your head. Alright, let's strand on this side. Put it up straight to your head. Curl. Mm. Hair is itching my nose. Alright, when I pull this out, I'll show you how pretty it is. I'll put my hand here so you can really see. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? And the barrel in here. Oh my goodness, it allows your hair to be so silky, soft, oh, can't say much more better things. Can't make sure I'm going with the barrel. There we go. Oh, love this. And if I were doing this in, you know, real time, then, I mean, literally my hair normally would probably take about 15, 20 minutes, but this way cuts it in half, maybe seven to 10 minutes. So pretty. All right, one second. All right, now that we've let that cool a little bit, I'm gonna get my Lange Salt and Sea Texturizing Spray and just lightly spray. Kind of gives it a little bit of a help when it comes to the uh, curling Mommy. part. Yes, sweetheart. Um, yeah. Uh-huh. Need help? No, you don't need help. All right, so like I was saying, this is the product I was using. Now, this can go up pretty high in temperature, but just because it can doesn't mean you should. <laughs> um, but it's really cool because, like I'll show again, those little rotation wall in there, will allow it to go from one curl section roll to the other. So it's really, really nice. I'm gonna turn that off. But now that I've let my hair kind of cool a little bit, I'm gonna take my hairbrush. Can I see this? Thank you. And I'm just gonna lightly brush through, because for me, I like the looser curl look. So, it's really, really pretty. Such an easy hair look. So, a little bit poofy. I'm still going to put a couple more hair products in just to kind of calm it down. Because like I said, I did just wash my hair. So, I got one little crazy hair. Tuck that back in there. <laughs> All right, I'm going to put in 
a little bit of the lime, just your arrogant oil. Just a little, not much. Just literally that well, it drips down, but maybe a mommy, quarter of a piece. Of mommy, this. mommy, and just kind of run it through. Mommy, mommy. yeah, I can be in oh. the clock. Okay. Make up a pop first. Oh, okay. Pop first. Uh huh. Pop first. I don't know where Paw Patrol is. We call Paw Patrol his his tablet. So let me wash my hands real quick. Like I have said before. Whenever you are messing with any kind of oil for your hair, to always make sure you wash your hands. All right. But that's it. It's super, super pretty. Curls. Love it. Now you can stay with the curl that you did see before I brushed out my hair. Either way, it looks gorgeous. All right, thanks guys. Mm -hmm.